In the mighty name of Jesus, who are ready in Yankopangi, Asafu Yehova, Asafu Yehova, Ye Yadawasi, Ye Dawasi, Uchicha Jifu Yankopangi, Uchicha Jifu Yankopangi, Ye Yankopani in Dimafwe. Asafu Yehova, Asafu Yehova, Kaya Baya Baya, Indere Masoka Bale Moro Yanda Baraya Bos, Limanda Buru Kaya Buru Yanda Raba Buru Yala Mama. In the name of Jesus, we are praying, we give Him glory, we thanking God Almighty, we praising, we worshiping God. Ye Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Rama mama mama bro ya la mamu ro bo ro bo 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 bo. Raka babu raba bo raya bro ya nda bro ya bro ya bro ya baba. Inda muru janda na makaburu ya muru ya mama mama. Ye re muru ya nda bare kata ya mama. In the mighty name, O oh Lord, we God Gambo Sandara. Ye, we thank you, we bless your name, we bless your name. Ye, nyang kuponi and buafoni adini na sutumfo. Ye, asafu Yehova, asafu Yehova. Wadruman kumanya mye, Yehova. To Tributa Namie, O Tredium Ponyamie, O Mongani Namie, A Radie, Ye Nyan Kupange, Yadawa say, Yadawa say, Yadawa say, Yadawa say, O Jesus, said the name, O Jesus, said the name, Haya, Yaya, 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 Candy Bruyabayaba, Rumorobo, Rumorobo, in the Libby, Rimorobo, Yan. Dabro ya bro ya ndiri bebe, raka pro ya ndabro ya bro ya ndiri be ya ndara baba. Yeah, la bazuke ndera bata ya. In the mighty name of Jesus, ah, oh, 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 krong krong, oh, krong krong, nyang kupange. Adini na su tumfani asafwe radie. Chredi ampone tete botanya mie. Ay 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 ay. Yara makamburu yanda raba buru yanda raba ba ro rabo rabo raba ya ba 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 ro brake bra ya la ba 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 in the name of Jesus Christ, mami from a good evening. What a man can. Okay, na misra yo. We basu kwa inti nam kasa wante menka. Yo, we continue to pray. Hey, kanda broya, manduro ba ya laba. We are praying, we are praying, we are praying. And you are good evening, amo. Ata, good morning, uh, good evening, uh, Mr. Sare. Go, good morning, Asta, good evening. Uh, yo, good evening. The binumsu or good morning. Tina mecha msa ano. Because the binu wa rat twelve a.m. Nyami shira mu njana o Jesus demo. Haya ya manzenderebe rabro kapra ya nderia Maria bro kala ba de bro ya bro ya rabro kata nde bro kondo bro ya bara ya nderia renda raba kulu koto bro ya ndara ma Maria bro ya ba ya ya hey ya ya bro ra ya ndara ma Maria ande bro kabanderia lem bro kondo bro ya nderebe ya bara ya anda bro koto bro ya ba bro ya hey ribro zendara ma kuli kibro ya lababe in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, hallelujah, glory, 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 hallelujah, glory, 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 oh, hallelujah, glory, 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 Jesus is the Lord, Jesus is the Lord, Jesus is the Lord, 
Oh, he is the Lord God Almighty. Jesus is the Savior of mankind. Yeah, 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 yeah,
I'm just going to show you one. It's the person who tells you there is no hell. Anybody that comes to you or preach or teach and try to defend his teaching to tell you there is no hell. That is the most dangerous person you need to keep yourself away from. If you can. I say, if you can keep yourself from any teacher, any pastor, any person who holds the Bible and come to you and especially tells you there is no hell. Hell is just something we have created. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I say, people that come to you and try to tell you that there is no hell. I hear some preacher, some evangelist telling people on social media that hell is just like uh, the, word, the word we use, hello, hello. What? What? My goodness. How low can you come and to describe the word, the word hell as hello that we use as greeting and then telling me that it is the white man who created that word but the whole bible was written by the white man and you are reading it you read some of them and then you are telling me hell just come from the word hello so hell is not there you got to be very careful of people and any religion who teaches there is no hell and I bet you, you need to find this book. Go and buy this book. And know more about Jehovah's Witnesses. You know, I, I always preach and I quote Jehovah's Witnesses because they are dangerous than Muslims. Jehovah's Witnesses are more dangerous. I know this guy who is preaching doesn't quote his religion, but I have listened to him and I have tracked him and I know he comes from, his background is from Jehovah's Witnesses. And that is why he is teaching there is no hell. That is why I'm recommending this book, The Kingdom of the Courts. And you're going to see Jehovah's Witnesses, how they started their religion, how they came out with the doctrine of no hell. How they came out with the doctrine that they call themselves Jehovah's Witnesses. You're going to see all of them in this book. Or you're going to find more. You're going to find out the psychological setup of Jehovah's Witnesses. How they come out with their psychological manipulation of their members. And that is how some of them can come out boldly and confidently and speak the way they speak. If you read this book with the Bible, alongside with the Bible, you're going to find out the truth of the Jehovah's Witnesses and you will, not, you will not listen to them again. For lack of, because a lot of people don't read. That is why when they come out like that, we, we follow them. But tonight, I just want to tell somebody one thing, a dangerous person to keep yourself away from a dangerous person that you need to keep yourself away from. If I come to you and I'm teaching you everything and I conclude there is no hell, there is no hell, then I'm a dangerous man. If anybody, no matter how he speaks eloquently, no matter how he quote the Bible, no matter how he defend himself, if he comes out or he starts telling you there is no hell. We talk about heaven. Heaven is there. And hell is there. Because Jesus Christ talks about hell. I'm listening to this guy and so funny and interesting that this guy make two statements that there is no hell there is no hell but he was quoting pastor otterbell as saying something that people are stupid which 
they are taking Pastor Mensa Otabel out of context of what he said. They are taking him out of context because Satan has hired people to attack the true men of God today. You understand? Satan has hired agents to attack the true men of God today. And I've been following this guy for some time now. And the Holy Spirit has convinced me that this guy is not from God. This guy that you are listening to him, the Bible says, with your fruit ye shall know them. So for him to come out publicly and boldly to declare that there is no hell, shows you that he is an agent of the one that he is trying to tell people that some people are following. He is an agent. He is an agent. Let me show you. Why? This guy, I'm listening to him telling people there is no hell. But when he was making reference to Pastor Mensah, uh, Reverend uh, Dr. Mensa Otabel as saying something which he is citing Reverend Mensa Otabel. Then he quoted Jesus and said, even Jesus said, anyone who say to his brother a fool, meanwhile, he has already said two times that there is no hell. But he was now, or then, quoting Jesus Christ's words as, if you tell your brother as foolish, you will go to hell. So, don't you see this guy doesn't know what he's talking about when it comes to hell. The topic hell. That God will judge people and at the end of the day, some will go to heaven and some will go to hell. This is what Satan is doing to people today. Let's start from the Bible. Let's go into our Bible, to the book of Matthew, chapter number 24, verse, chapter 24 of the book of Matthew, verse 5, verse 11, and verse 24. And then we'll go to other scriptures like First Peter, uh, uh, Second Peter, Chapter 2, verse 1, 2 Timothy, chapter 4. We're going to read all of them. So, first, turn your Bibles to the book of uh, Matthew, chapter 24. And I'm talking about the subject, a dangerous man or a dangerous person to keep yourself away from. You need to keep yourself away from dangerous people. If someone is coming holding a knife and threatening to hurt you. You get to keep yourself away from somebody who, who wants to hurt you. Hmm? If you see someone who, with a knife or with anything, any weapon that threatens your life, keep yourself away from that person. And as a human being, a, a one person that you need to keep yourself away from is a person who comes with this Bible and teaches you there is no hell? And teaches you there is no hell. So if you know somebody who has been teaching on the social media that there is no hell, you get to keep yourself away from people like that. Keep yourself away from them. They are dangerous. Hmm? They are dangerous. Okay, so the book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 5, I'm going to show you their, their background, their background. It says that, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. So, Many will come in my name and say I am the Christ. People are saying that 
God has said this, God has said that. But I'm just showing you simple thing to identify false ones. One of the things to identify false pastor, false teacher, false evangelist, false prophet is when they are teaching there is no hell. You understand again? I say one way to identify a false prophet, a false evangelist, a false pastor, a false teacher, because we have a false ap apostles and all that. When you hear somebody is teaching, there is no hell. Run away from that person. Stay away from that person. Because that person is the most dangerous person to your eternal life. That's why Jesus Christ says, many will come in my name and then they will say, I am the Christ. They will quote the name of Jehovah. They will quote all the big names of God, but they are not from God. Why they are not from God? For with your fruit, you shall know them. When they start telling you there is no hell. I say when they start telling you there is no hell. Why Jesus even used different terminology and scenarios to picture hell. That there is hell. And somebody comes to you and tell you there is no hell. Somebody stand on the social media, on YouTube, on Facebook, and teaches you that there is no hell, and you are comfortable, there is no hell, because there is going to be an annihilation. And it is one religion that normally use that term, annihilation. That means there is no hell. Therefore, at the end of the day, God is going to eliminate sinners once and for all. Ask that person. Has that person seen God died before? God is a spirit. And God created us in his image. So the spirit that was created as God never dies. It never completely destroys. But it lives forever. And it lives either in hell forever or it lives either in hell forever. You understand? That the spirit, the soul that God created, lives forever. It never dies. The body dies. When we die, it is not the spirit that dies. It is the body that dies. That is why when you look at movies, they show it to us, and it is real. It's like that. When someone dies, when a car hits someone, you see that the dead, the dead body is lying down and then they, they shoot another movie out of the dead body and the ghost is coming out of that person. And the dead body will be still there. That means the spirit never dies. And sometimes you watch some movies and then you see that the, 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 the ghost, as they describe in the movie, is watching its own body lying down. Meaning that one never dies. So tell the evangelist who is teaching about annihilation that God is going to eliminate all sinners that it is not true. The quotation that man quoted over there in the book of Ezekiel doesn't teach us like that. The quotation that Jehovah Witnesses use never teaches like that. Whoever comes to you to teach you there is no hell, be careful. I'm just showing you what Jesus says. We should be careful because false prophets will come. He say, in my name, in Jesus' name. Let's go to verse number 11 of the book of uh, Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24 verse 11 also says, Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. You see many false prophets. I am listening to this same guy. It is not even three months. It is not even three months. And then my wife told me, Pastor, hey, Pastor Menzel Tabel, 
has sent me a request and I'm say, I said, Sarah, that is not Pastor Otabel. That is not Pastor Mensa Otabel. Pastor Mensa Otabel will never send you a request on Facebook because Pastor Mensa Otabel doesn't have time to come and mess himself out on social media to the stand of sending you a request. So give me your phone. And I'm going to show you that is not Pastor Mensa Otabel. I know Pastor Mensa Otabel life. I have I taught his first daughter and second daughter in their house. I know the man. I have gone to him. I have gone to his church. I know I have listened to his teachings. I know his terminologies, how he speaks, the words he uses. And when he is speaking, I know where he's coming from and where he's going. So I said to my wife, this is not Pastor Mensa Otabo. Give me your phone. So my wife gave me her phone and I started chatting with the so-called Pastor Mensa Otabo. Listen, I said that is not Pastor Mensa Otabo. But this evangelist I'm talking about says that is Pastor Mensa Otabo. When I was listening to him, I, 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 I was... I was laughing. I said, this guy, you uh, I thought you are so educated to know better. I thought that guy is so educated to know better. But unfortunately, he's not educated like that. I thought he's educated and he can go to people's social media and get information and come and talk about. But when he was talking about Pastor Mental Tabel, as he sent him a message. And I and I, he put the message on the same on the on the screen and I, the same message that this guy sent to my wife because I was chatting with the guy. I was chatting with the guy, and then the guy finally concluded I should send money to Nigeria to an orphanage home. And I said, Sir, I told you, I told you, I'm going to show you that this guy is not Pastor Mensa Otabel. Pastor Mensa Otabe will never come to social media and chat individual people and tell them to send money to uh, Nigeria and orphanage home. So, evangelist, if you are reading somebody that sent you a message, let me tell you that is not Pastor Mensa Otabe. Somebody use Pastor Mensa Otabe's face. Someone use Pastor Mensa Otabe's face. I'm not preaching for Pastor Mensa Otabelo. <laughs> Listen, I'm not preaching for Pastor Mensa Otabelo, but I am telling you a dangerous person you must keep yourself away from. The person who tells you there is no hell. And the reason why I am going this way to this guy is because he was Referring to Pastor Mensa Otabo when he was speaking on social media. And that is where he also mentioned there is no hell. And that is why the Holy Spirit told me that man is dangerous. That man is dangerous. So you got to be very careful because I know a lot of people are following him and listening to him and are saying, oh, yes, you are doing something great. You are doing... He is leading people to hell where he claims there is no hell. Hallelujah. I know when I speak in tongues, he will be confused and he will say that there is nothing like tongues. When you speak in tongues and people are confused, they are saying, because tongues speaking make people confused. So they will attack you. So Jesus says in Matthew chapter 24 verse 11, he says, then many false prophets, it's not only false prophets, I'm going to quote another place. Many false prophets will give up, sorry, will rise up and deceive many. So they are deceiving people there is no hell. There is no hell. The only word I am emphasizing for you to understand clearly is that be careful of people who comes to you or whom you listen and they teach that 
there is no hell. Have you heard people teaching, preaching like that? There is no hell before. They are very dangerous people. Because that people will be comfortable. After all, there is no hell. God would destroy. After all, if, if, if God destroy me and I'm not going to live again, that, that's fine. But that is not the case. You are going to live in eternal hellfire. Hellfire, evangelists. You are going to live in eternal hellfire. So if you are teaching people there is no hell, you are being dangerous to mankind. Let's go to the next scripture. Let's go to the next scripture. So I said, if you buy this book, all that this evangelist has been teaching, you're going to find out how they came out with those teachings. The kingdom of the court. The kingdom of the court. It's a very big book, but if you are interested in reading, you can read this book and acquire very good knowledge for yourself. When you go to Jehovah's Witness, they will not let you read this book. Because that is the court, the psychological structure to manipulate their members. Jehovah's Witnesses will not let you read this book. Because it's part of their court system. And their psychological way of manipulating people's mind not to know the truth. When he was quote, when he quoted one scripture which I'm also going to quote. I hear him quoting Second Corinthians. He didn't read it from the Bible, he just quoted it in halfway, but I'm going to read it in full. Second Corinthians chapter four, verse four says, Whose mind the God of this age has blinded who do not believe? Just list the light of the gospel of glory of Christ, who is the image of God, should not shine on them. So, the devil has blindfolded many people so that the light and the image of Jesus Christ will not shine on them. Let's go to verse number 24 of Matthew 24. Matthew 24, 24 also says, for false Christ, you know, for the two scriptures, that is verse number 5, verse number 11 talks about four prophets. But here in verse 24, it says that for false Christ and false prophets. So he said false Christ and false prophets. Um, Relia is chapter 24. Uh, okay, you are right. That is 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. You are right. But now it's a... Uh, Matthew 24, 24. It says, For false Christ and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. Listen to that. It says, Even if possible, to deceive the self, the Christian, the born again people. If we are not careful, they will come out to some doctrine like there is no hell. Like there is no hell. To deceive you. That is why I say, read this book. Read this book. Look, I read every book. I read every book. But Jehovah Witness will not let you read every book. They will let you read only Watchtower. Watchtower. And let me show you. When you read this book... Jehovah, Jehovah Witnesses, they are very dangerous. They are very, very dangerous. Let me show you. Um, according to the Watchtower, Watchtower then, the clergy of Christendoms are obviously the villains and are the objects of the pure hatred. Just how pure Hatred differs from good old-fashioned hatred. The watchtower never gets around to explaining. But it is clear that Christendom, all historic denominations and churches led by the 
allegedly corrupt clergy has foisted the satanically conceived trinity doctrine and the doctrine of hell and eternal punishment upon the unsuspecting masses and the doctrine of hell and eternal punishment sorry uh, regarded as a unre unrewarded and inspired by satan hmm. I, i'm just reading something small to you i'm going to i'm going to continue okay it is any wonder that the usually calm and detached sternly high writing in the uh, jehovah witnesses in 19 uh, okay this is just a reference to the book of i'm reading here so jehovah witnesses hated or hate everybody and try to make it mutual jehovah's witnesses make hate a religion i'm just telling you the the, the terminology they use to deceive people and try to change switch here and there and trying to defend themselves so the doctrine of hell and eternal punishment does stimulate fear of judgment are unreasonable this is the teaching of jehovah witness you get to be very careful that's why i'm telling you the most dangerous person to keep yourself away from i didn't say jehovah witness alone i say anybody the most dangerous person to keep yourself away from is anybody who comes to you and tells you there is no hell there is no hell jesus christ is, is telling us to be careful of people who will come and deceive us it is not only the prophets that comes to deceive us but the teaching the doctrine that they polish and bring to us can also deceive us like what this guy is saying and i wonder why this guy is talking about pastor otabel as the person who came to him and sent him message to send him money let me tell you that is not pastor otabel i have been dealing with people on social media why a man put on a woman's picture and trying to take money from me and finally I discovered it that he's, he's a guy, he's not a woman. So men are using women picture on social media. Today, people are using great men of God, you know. So when I was using my, my wife's phone to chat with that, that guy that the evangelist was talking about, he asked me to send money to Nigeria to an orphanage home, and I said, why do you use such a great man's name to deceive people the moment i said why do you use such a great man's name to you to deceive people then he blocked me he blocked me i didn't say why do you use pastor Otab? i said why do you use such a great man's name to deceive people you put his picture there use his name and i see that this is pastor Otabel. And this is not Pastor Otabel because the moment my wife told me Pastor Otabel has sent her a request, I said that is not Pastor Otabel. And I don't know why this evangelist cannot descend because he doesn't believe in the gift of the Spirit. So how can he descend? If he doesn't have the, he doesn't believe the gifts, like speaking in tongues. So he doesn't have the, the spirit of discernment. I get the spirit of discernment. So the moment. I sense it. I dissent. This is not the. This is not Pastor Otabel. Hallelujah. I know. You need to have the spirit of the gift of discernment to know this guy. That is why I'm able to say this guy has been pointing to a lot of people, musicians, great man of God, and I have the discernment to point to him himself. He's not from God. He's a false since he has been able to teach that there is no hell he's from satan he's from demon he's an agent of the devil 
He is an agent of the devil. It is only the agents of Satan that will teach there is no hell. I say it is only the agents, the demons of Satan that will take the Bible and teaches there is no hell. No true man evangelist, no true pastor, no true ev uh, uh, apostle, no true man of God, no true religion from Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus Christ, who gave his life on the cross, will ever teach there is no hell. Every true man of God who believed Jesus Christ, the Son of the Most High God, who died for the sin of mankind, will never teach there is no hell. Anybody who truly followed Jesus Christ as Lord and personal Savior and believed that Jesus Christ died on the cross and Jesus was buried and Jesus resurrected and Jesus ascended to heaven will never teach there is no hell. So any man, any evangelist, any apostle, any teacher, any who, who teaches there is no hell is not from God. Because hell is real. And heaven is real. And we must distinguish and show people the difference. So to come out and tell people there is no hell, you are very dangerous. You are very dangerous. Second Peter chapter 2, verse 1. Let's go to Second Peter chapter 2, verse 1. Second Peter chapter 2, verse 1, also says, But there were also false prophets. There were. In the old times, there were false prophets. It's not only today. Among the people, even us, there will be false teachers. And then there will be four. There were false prophets, and there will be false teachers. That means Peter was speaking to the entire false teachers, people who will teach that there is no hell. They will come. That like a religion like Jehovah Witnesses, they will come. Like evangelists who will come on social media and begin to teach that there is no hell. They will come. So. But there were also false prophets among the people, even as there will be false teachers among you who will secretly bring in destructive heresies. They will secretly, they will come in with heresies. You see, secretly and psychologically, they are massaging your mind. He is massaging people's mind by telling people that there is no hell. There is no hell. Okay? That is heresy. Heresy is where a group or someone come out to teach Different doctrine, different teaching that is not in line with the main teaching of the apostles of Jesus Christ. Like talking about hell, that was the, one of the teachings that Jesus and his apostles wanted us to understand that there is a place called hell so if you don't live your life good or if, if you don't live good life you will go to hell so if someone who has been hired by satan also come out he want people to be comfortable so that they will continue to live in their sins or continue to do whatever they are doing like drinking and there is nothing wrong they teach about fornication they teach about but they don't teach up about drinking and drunken drunken drinking and drunken we understand because they themselves want to drink okay so 
He said that these people will come and they will bring or they will come and teach destructive, look at that word, destructive heresies, meaning destructive teaching, destructive doctrine, like there is no hell. That is the word I'm using. So I'm, I'm hitting there. There is no hell. There is nothing like hell. Hell is, hell is the word hello. Hello, if you remove the O from there, if you remove the O, it's, it's, it's hello. Or if you add O, then you get hello. Hello. And it is the word hello that we, we, we just remove the word O and we get hell. How can you teach that? You are a demon possessed. If you teach us that, I don't care who you are. I don't care what you will come back and talk about to me. You are a demon possessed. You have been hired by Satan to deceive people in the end time. That is why Satan has hired you to attack the true man of God. You are attacking the true man of God these days because Satan has hired you to do that job for him. Satan has hired a lot of people to do his dirty job. To attack, so uh, uh, evangelist Dana Asamoah is not good. Evangelist, uh, uh, what do you call it? This wonderful woman that is singing, and because of that, he was teaching about uh, what is her name? What is her name? Dana Asamoah and the other one. There is another woman, very wonderful, powerful woman. She sings very good songs, and this guy say, this woman and. Her prayer come, they, they were praying, and then say that they were praying, they are crapping, and there is nothing like praying and crapping in the Bible. Who told you? Because you don't pray. You don't know the value of prayer. Why? In the Bible says that, and when you pray and you clap your hands, it will double as a, 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 a it will be as a double-edged sword. And some people are praying, clapping their hands, and he is criticizing because they are afraid of prayer. They are afraid of prayer. The fact that you are teaching condemning pastors and musicians that didn't make you a true person of God, a true man of God. For the fact that you are teaching that there is no hell, my brother, you are a dangerous person. You are a dangerous person. Let's go to the book of Second Timothy. Chapter number 2 Timothy. Chapter number. If you, if you have learned the Bible, somebody also, by the grace of God, has also studied the Bible. By the grace of God. So, what you are reading, we can also read. And we can also understand. If you can pick people's pictures from the social media, Someone also can also go and pick your picture and pick people's picture the same way. The same way you can pick people's picture, that is the same way somebody can pick Pastor Otabel's picture and use to deceive people. <laughs> you understand? You saying that if Pastor Otabel block you, but that is not Pastor, Pastor Otabel. You know how to get it. Mm -hmm. That is why you need to understand that somebody know. How to get somebody, somebody can put my, know how to get my picture and put my picture on social media just to destroy me. Some people can do that. So I'm aware of that. You understand? It, it is not too long that my pastor here in Maryland, some people were using his picture the same way. So I know how. And then my pastor has to come and say that, hey, please, from today, if anybody asks you money on Facebook, that is not me. That is not me. And I know this evangelist, if somebody send you that request and ask you that with the name and the picture of the pastor I'm talking about, you're going to think it does, that is the pastor, but that is not him. He was not the one doing that. Somebody was using his picture, his picture to do that. So you need to know better. If you are talking about Pastor Otabel send you a message, you get to know better. That is not Pastor Otabel. It is not Pastor Mensa Otabel. Pastor Mensa Otabel will never do that. He doesn't have time to do that. And remember, Pastor Otabel has a university. He has trained great men. Great men who are doing better in, in, the, in our nation. 
So if you want people to contribute, he will not send them to give you to an orphanage in Nigeria. Don't we have orphanage homes in Ghana? We have orphanage homes in Ghana. So do you think that Pastor Otabel is so dumb to go that level that he wants to deceive people to send money to Nigeria instead of Ghana, where he has a university in Ghana, he has his church in Ghana? Why do you, why are you so low-minded to understand simple things like that? This is simple, you need to know that this is not Pastor Mensa or Tabo. Hmm. You understand? Second Timothy chapter 4, let's take it from verse number 1 to 2, and then we're going to finish here. Second Timothy chapter 4, I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ who would judge the living and the dead. What do you think? Where, where is, God, uh, where is God, God going to judge the dead and the living? What, what, if there is no hell, why is God going to judge the dead and the living again? If there is no hell, then let the dead die. And then just they die and then that's all. They died and that's all. But Jesus Christ talks about resurrection. Resurrection. That God is going to judge the dead and the living. I will go further another time. Then we're going to go the hellfire that the evangelist is talking that there is no hell. There is no hell. And I'm teaching, I want him to come and reply and I will come and call his name. And then I will start pointing what he is teaching direct, like he is doing to people. I will do the same thing. Listen, he says that, I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom, preach the word. Be ready in season, so I'm ready. I am ready now, like you are ready. Anybody who is ready, I'm also ready by the grace of God. The Bible says, preach the word, be ready, and in season, whether you attack me or you don't attack me, that is, I'm ready, whichever way you will come, because... I know you, you, you say that anybody who will come, you will come. And I don't care about who, how you will come and when you will come. Because I am ready in season and out of season, convince, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering, with love. You know, the reason why we're doing all this is because Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you, evangelist. Jesus wants you to repent and change your mindset and receive the true Jesus Christ who died on the cross and was, and was buried and was resurrected. You need that Jesus. If you, if, you are, or if you are encountered with that Jesus Christ, with that Jesus, I'm telling you, you will not teach and tell anybody there is no hell. If you meet that Jesus that Paul met on the road of Damascus, when somebody send you a message on social media, like you say, man's not Otado, the Holy Spirit will give you discernment. Right away, you will know this is not Pastor Man's not Otado. So you will not come and attack a man of God like that for lack of knowledge. What you are doing is lack of knowledge. People that are listening to you know that you know more, but you don't know nothing. I'm also a learner. But you want to tell people that you know better. That's why you are doing that. So he say, for verse number three says, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Sound doctrine. Teachings that 
is sound that divide the word of truth that tells people there is hell and there is heaven they will not believe it they will not accept it they they will want to accept teaching that is false false doctrine but according to their own desires because they have itching ears you know today many people want to hear people who are condemning great men of god that is how people want to listen because some people don't want to repent they want they don't want to change from their lives and there a lot of people are filled with the spirit of envy a lot of people are filled with the spirit of jealousy why don't you ask god to give you wisdom to do the same thing that pastor otaba has done but you are envy of him <laughs> that is witchcraft the spirit of envy is as the spirit of witchcraft you see and people have itching ears when today when you talk about the truth people don't like it but when you start insulting people telling doing filthy things then people like it they want to hear you more so when this guy started talking about evangelist dana, uh, dana samoa uh, uh, what this wonderful guys who sing wonderful he said they are illuminatis and all true men of god he started talking about them because people are all, all already filled with jealousy then they they they, they hey, hey and then you're going to see that he say evangelists attack or evangelists you say what what did they say ev ev evangelists uh rebook pastor men's out of and so what and so what he's he's deceiving people 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 like to be told lies people don't want the truth and if i'm going to crack and you know be what they are trouble be a no and grow for genie grow for genie the obi or baba catch now say i've been some of you know hell in the world i'm on for any job they said this evangelist telling people there is no hell people like it they like him but i just want to tell the evangelist that the man you said he sent you message to tell to send you a money is not pastor otabo because i was chatting direct to the guy on my wife's phone i was chatting direct with him and that wasn't pastor mensa otabe pastor mensa otabe doesn't have time to do that the bottom line today is that there is hell and there is heaven be careful the way you live your life today it will lead you either to heaven or to hell because there are two ways jesus says there is a small way and there is a narrow way and there is there is also the the huge or big road that people want to follow god richly bless you i will come again tomorrow morning to meet you we will talk about something different but this particular topic that is uh, a dangerous person to keep yourself away from i'm going to continue again but i'm waiting for that guy if he come back again if i see him on social media then i will come dito dito and then i'll also uh talk more about his dangerous teaching god richly bless you and the lord keep you and the lord protect you in the name of jesus christ our lord amen i will see you again tomorrow morning let's share the grace the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore in jesus name amen sure goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever in the mighty name of jesus christ amen 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 amen
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Jimmy, oh, Jimmy. Mm.